We are strongly concerned the freedom of a press and also the democracy in Cambodia. I mean, it's, it's certainly been the worst that I've seen there. The, the feeling fear, you know. It's, it's like emotional to us. You know, I kind of thought eventually our days were going to be numbered. If no change, the democracy will step down. In the last few months, the situation of the media in Cambodia is not very good because the government is trying to put pressure. The case of Cambodia Daily is because of tax payment. Yeah, beginning of August, um, I woke up one morning on a Saturday, logged into my Facebook and, and saw this, this tax bill. Um, for the daily, 6.3 million dollars that none of us had heard anything of. For the daily is also the, uh, a big case because of the very active reporting and promoting freedom of expression in Cambodia. But yeah, there was there was a fair amount of hope that it, this could be resolved in some way through legal channels or. And also the the case of previously the reporter of of Cambodia Daily were also threatened as well. Um, but it kind of transpired fairly quickly after a few weeks that. Um, the dailies days were were numbered and there have been plenty of other cases the shuttering of RFA and VOA the place that we have been uh, working for at least two, two years or other uh, 10 or 15 or 19 years and finally it's uh, it's it's that it's it's gone and we are shocked. The court but office the media was close the media who which criticize to uh, you know, the government activity. The spokesman of the Ministry of Information claimed that if we are continuing to work, to do our job, maybe we are arrested. The destination is that the national election for me. There are political motivations there. Um, I think leading up to the next general election, there's a clear effort to to silence independent critical voices, and I think the daily was was one of those certainly. ແຕງແນ່ພໍລະມຽນມັນອາຊີບນະແລະគេຫາວຖ້າຊິເຈນໃຫ້ເອີ້ຄືກະລອງມາເນາະເປດໃຫ້ຍົ້ມໂຈລ